It's easy to call Fruitland's football program a powerhouse. The squad has played in seven consecutive state championships, but the Grizzlies have been bridesmaids more often than brides, losing five of those title games. Fruitland seeking an eighth straight berth today, visiting Homedale, the only team to beat the Grizz during the regular season. One big reason for that Trojan W, quarterback Lawson Madison. Remember the name. He's only a sophomore, but you couldn't tell by watching him play. He torches the Fruitland secondary in the first quarter, finding Lane sale for a couple big gains, but like most good sales, this one had to come to an end. Madison gets picked by Parker Stanger. Stanger danger! And Fruitland capitalizes on the ensuing possession. Jared Siemens could throw a football too, hitting Stanger in stride for a big chunk of yardage. And then once the Grizzlies get down in the red zone, it's time to play the fiddler. Chase Fiddler punches it in. Fruitland trailed 29-22 late in the fourth until Stanger scored a TD with seven seconds left. The Grizzlies went for two in the win and got it. Fruitland tops Homedale 30-29 and will play either Gooding or Shelley in the 3A state final. In the 2A bracket, Westside tops Firth 24-18 in overtime. That game just wrapped up a minute ago, so the Pirates will play either Wendell or Declo. Those two just about to kick off at Holt Arena. Salmon River will play Council in the 1A D2 championship. The Savages ravaged Dietrich 44-zip, while the Lumberjacks extinguished Lighthouse Christian in an upset 24-12. And in Division I, Hagerman advances with a 70-30 win over Raft River. That's a basketball score. The Pirates will play Troy in the finals. Two local powerhouses will meet in the 4A state championship next Friday at 7 o'clock at Bronco Stadium. Undefeated Bishop Kelly escaped Century 27-26 last night thanks to a failed two-point conversion attempt in double overtime. Skyview thumped Jerome 61-25. The Knights and Hawks met in Week 1 this season with BK squeaking out a 14-10 victory. The 5A title game will not feature a Valley team. Both SIC squads lost in the semis last night. Highland topped Rocky Mountain 24-6. Coeur d'Alene crushed Capital 42-14.